Let's draw a rectangle and make the background of the logo. From gradient option, you can uh, do color manipulation there. Change the color and from color option, you can choose the dark color from here. Now duplicate the rectangle and this time choose black color and from transparency uh, keep more transparency here. Now select both and group them. Again go to object and lock the background. Now draw a circle from the center. Similarly draw another circle. While drawing a circle, press and hold shift and alt key so that we can get a perfect circle. Now drag the circle from one of the sides and make an ellipse. Draw a straight line which will work as an axis. Now select them all and change color to white so that it will be visible for us. Now draw the letter S. Now increase the size of the S. Take it on the middle, change the color and expand it. Now drag it from the both sides and manage it within the circle. Choose color of the pencil and now draw the curve and match up with uh, the alphabet S now remove the fill color similarly draw another curve here Now select them all, unmark those straight line, press and hold shift key and unmark those. Now take shape builder tool, change the color and move over the gaps and build a shape. Select the red object, click on reflection tool, press and hold alt key and drag the point on the axis and you can check by clicking on preview and click copy now again press and hold alt key and drag it to the uh, y axis and ok now delete it drag this circle and make an ellipse now select them all take shape builder tool change the color and uh, draw the shape of the s Similarly, move over the top part by changing the color of the shape builder tool and make another object here. Similarly, do it on the bottom too. If 
filled out the gap where if uh, is there any gap on the middle of the object now select the objects by pressing and holding shift key and delete those unnecessary things take it back now select those two change the color and from here draw a small circle now we are going to give uh, 3d effects and 3d shape so to make a 3d shape we need to do this way now draw a curve by joining these two circles now remove the fill color now select them Take shape builder tool, change the color and move over it. I'm changing the color of shape builder tool so that it can be easily identified. Now draw another curve here and uh, make a nice shape here. Now select those, use shape builder tool. Now delete those unwanted things. Draw another curve there and uh, make make the shape more more nice and perfect. Now it looks better. Now let us draw x axis and y axis so that we can reflect the objects. Uh, without reflecting the objects we cannot get the perfect shape on both the sides. Now make separate separate parts uh, because we are going to reflect on other side but uh, the, sh the complete shape is covering both x axis and y axis so we need to divide it and we need to reflect it uh, individually after reflecting we can join join the shape and uh, we'll get in both the sides equal shapes which will looks more better and uh, the complete shapes will be equally balanced so when you use reflecting tool and uh, you need to press and hold alt key and drag the center to the axis while selecting multiple objects you need to press and hold shift key Similarly press and hold shift key and select them and unite it. Now draw a curve here. We need to make uh, more effects of 3D. Now remove the fill color of the curve. Now bring it here so that we will get uh, equal shapes on both the sides. Now let us change the color. So here I am using gradient color you can do uh, color manipulation here in the gradient option now do some changes in uh, gradient color 
make it little bit more lighter until you get the perfect color you need to do changes Uh, it looks more nice now now draw one more curve here Similarly, draw another curve here. Select them all, take shape builder tool, change the color and click over it. Here make a curve shape, select them all and join uh, those black color. Now select those two black lines and choose different color. Give some offset here so that uh, we'll get some uh, shades here. From here you can change the color. Double click over the uh, color nodes and change the color. Now let's draw a small circle by pressing and holding shift key. Now use some transparent color. Select them all by pressing and holding shift key and from here use negative offset. So those are the offset color and now change the offset color with similar color so that uh, it should look more, more realistic. Select other offset and choose the same color. Draw a circle like this and uh, use transparent color here. Now this looks nice. Do multiple selections by pressing and holding shift key. So we are going to delete uh, the shape of our S. Let's change the color in gradient instead of black 
uh, let's choose white color now it looks fine drag the object by pressing alt key and it will make duplicate now give some transparency here so that it can match up with uh, with uh, background color now it looks nice select them all and group it make it smaller little bit and drag it upward press and hold alt key and drag it and make duplicate Now draw a rectangle and use gradient color. So we are going to make it shadow. Now let's draw a dark shadow. You can use blur like that. Hope you like this tutorial. Subscribe us for more updates. See you in next video.